If you play rhythmic guitar, the problem of speed comes mainly from your strength, you know, your muscles and uh, the freedom of all your fingers, you know, the freedom of all your fingers when they're moving on the fretboard. When you're a beginner, your fingers are like stuck together and cannot easily move by themselves without, I know, bringing all the others with them, you know, that's the problem. So. That's something you need to practice while strengthening your hands, muscles, and you know, improving your agility and your speed. That speed that you think is gonna prove without you even notice it. Sometimes you will practice for two weeks about the same exercises, and at the end of the month, you will feel like, oh, oh my god, I've made it. The problem. The second problem comes from the peak side, the side when you play with the peak, and the accuracy that you need. problem the synchronization with your left hand and your right hand and speed is about all of that broke together so you see that it's a very big work and it's a work with an objective that you can break down you know that that's an objective that you can break down slowly step by step let's play again on your key of, of C oh let's change it let's play in the key of G today we're gonna play in the key of G you already know this form, this pattern of G major. And when you play in the seven, you're gonna have you're gonna shortcut it. This is gonna be the inverted form and the shortcut of this G major. Wait. My father over there is making noise. Let's say that you wanna play the same solo that I played on my Instagram account. It's pretty tricky, huh? <laughs> I will explain in another video that melodies, seven melodies, and Different solos come from, are like taken off from chords, you know, so shortcuts of chords and uh, inverted form of chords played for solo. So this is a chord, this is a chord, this is a chord, this is a chord, this is another one, you know, they are different chords played for that solo. So this solo you want to play, you think about the chords and about the different notes you add from different places and picked from the major scales. And this is African music the way it's done. But I will explain more of that later. So to practice this solo you are gonna have to you know so the first step is this part. Those are intervals, third intervals. See, and that requires pretty much strength for <laughs> for this solo, you know. I, I spent too much time practicing this part to make it sound like this. it properly it's there from here your two fingers here you play it you press the two strings strongly but not too tightly because you need to slide down when you slide down you know you want it to to kind of cry and you know it's, a, yeah, it's crying you know, the string is crying huh? so you have to press uh, enough to make it sound and not too much to allow you to to slide down yeah, to slide down and same principle for the next com combination of thirds you know no no, no. no. 
and you can like focus only on this first part to practice your speed step by step slowly so like you play only Speed up slowly, step by step. But make sure that when you speed up, you're still playing with accuracy. Uh, your sentences, your melody is still clear, still uh, precise, you know. It's a conversation, right? After practicing this part, you can get to the other one. So Do you recognize this chord? It's a shortcut of a C played for no solo. second part. So let's bring the first part you practiced before and the second part together. See? And then the third part. You play it again. But you end up, you resolve the melody with this. See, so you resolve it like this, and it's another chord. It's the D7. See, that's the D7. That's the third part that you already know, just like the first part, but it's to resolve it here, and then you finish the melody here. And that's the other way to practice your speed, okay? A different approach for that. So let's play it again. When you do your workout like this, you focus on what you really need. This is just an example and you have thousands and thousands of examples. At the moment you can have the transitions, I've explained it in my Instagram. See I've break down all these solos so you can practice every part one by one you break it down into three four five parts and you practice the different parts the goal is to bring all the parts together so you play all the solo exactly off played it but anyway whatever the exercise you pick whatever the melody whatever the song whatever uh, the weakness that you have practice on it. It may be the changing of chords or it could be practicing very simply like this. Excuse me. We are on the key of G and your chord are G, D, C, D, G. Then you shortcut those chords and you play inverted forms like G. This is a shortcut of G, yeah. The Congolese way of playing G. <laughs> I call that the Congolese way of playing the G chord. 
because Congolese people like this form very much. Eh? Then you play your D, even this is a Congolese way, but anyway. But you know, the old form is that, the normal form I would say, but you inverted it, you reverse the form of that, so you play this, the D like this, and then you play the C chord, the C major from this form. form of the C, it's a bar chord. And then, coming back to your D. And then, end up the G again. short and I'm not giving that much techniques and that much exercises but I want you firstly to understand the mindset the mindset to improve your speed you don't need to play all the exercises you see on the YouTube you know because most of the time those exercises you feel like useless for you when you're on stage or you're rehearsing or when you're in the studio you won't be able to use it directly on your melodies understand anyway hope that helps you there are so many things to say about using the learning but i don't want to spoil you you know i don't want to spam you with too much information you have to pick the right information and practice steadily and efficiently family don't forget to subscribe like the video Give me your impression, even if you disagree with me, let me know your thoughts and see below the video. I will this time try and create a newsletter for only English people. I'm trying to please you. You will receive only messages in English for you and even for the Seven Academy when it will be ready for you in English, full English courses, Congolese music and Seven African guitar. I will let you know. Check the links below. It's a gather fan. <laughs>